Hi there, it's Dawn here. I found a new trick that some of you are going to go bonkers for. Really, really great stuff. Using the chat GPT to create a list and then saving that list as a CSV file that you can then import into Canva and create a whole bunch of of um, very similar kinds of social media content all at once. So I was playing around. I thought maybe I would use the chat GPT, which is um, a, a new technology or newer uh, using uh, language reasoning. And what it's done, I can type in any kind of phrase I want here if you've not played with it before. What I did was type in a, uh, a prompt, create a list of the best tech quotes. I'm going to ask it again. Um, can you give me a few more tech quotes? And let's see if it generates any. <clears throat> okay, here we are. Okay, so now it's coming up with um, some more that I can use, and I've already got a list started, so let's see when it stops. I'll go ahead and copy and paste these over. What I did was I took the um, quotes it gave me and did a control C to copy, and then I moved over. I just decided to use the Google Sheets and I paste it in here. So I've just added some more in here and that will auto save, so that's awesome. But what I wanna do is download this entire file, which I do need to do again. I'm going to File, Download, and I'm uh, saving it as a comma separated value file type. Okay, so you could do this with anything. Uh, um, 50 ways to improve your SEO, great ways to get rid of email overwhelm, whatever topic that makes sense for your business. And so there it has created this. Let me go ahead and um, get that saved. Tech quotes, I'm going to rename it here on the side. Tech quotes 2. And I'm going to put that to my desktop so we can find it when we want it. Okay, so then from here, I go over to Canva. And what I decided to do was set this up as an Instagram post. I can use that kind of square post in a, a lot of things. But I'll do Instagram post plus quote. Quote. And this should give me some templates that make sense for what I want to work on today. And so I'm just going to kind of shop around and find one that I like. Um, the one I just played with a couple of them. Let's scroll down and find one that I just played with this one. I'll show you how that one turned out. But let's do a different one just so we have some variety. And I'm going to pick this guy here. Okay, so now I've got a little template. I'm going to customize that template. So what I'm going to start with is just start by changing this into my brand color. So I'll do that. I'll do the blue. I'll do the, um, let's do the green. And let's do that background. Let's do that as a white. Okay, and then instead of their site here, let's go ahead. I'm just going to do all these little things on my page first so that when I duplicate the page, it comes up as um, with all the parts and pieces just how I like it. So I'm going to do that and get that kind of centered here, kind of low. But that should be, that should work. And then this little piece here, make sure it's not grouped. I did figure out I don't want that to be grouped. And then what I do is I go to the, find this bulk create. Now I've already gone to the apps 
if you don't see bulk create, then, then type in bulk here um, in the apps, and then there is the bulk create. Now, rather than start this um, entering data manually, I've got that CSV file that I just saved. So what I'm going to do is upload the CSV, picking the tech quotes too. That's the one I just added um, 10 more quotes to. And then you'll see that it's got a data field there. I'm going to just go in here and you right click on that piece. That's where I want to swap out what they have and put in um, all those different quotes and make them on individual uh, pages of this. So I'm going to connect data and connect data there. Now we'll, we'll want to tidy those up, but this will be much faster than typing 20 different things. And you know, if I wanted to make these a little smaller, you know, and I can I can fuss with that, but once I've got it, kind of how I want, then I'm going to continue and then generate the 19 additional pages. So this is page one, and when I did this, what I noticed, it made, makes it into a separate um, file there, and then I can just fuss with those individually. Uh, it's not going to take me much time, but then this gives me something I could play with. I could, on any individual one, maybe swap the blue and green. Um, maybe put, instead of a blue background, maybe I want to put a picture behind it. Do anything like that. But all of a sudden, I've got a bunch ready to go. And then this is just a really fast way to create uh, branded content with uh, kind of a strategy behind it and then I'm ready to go. What do you think? I think pretty awesome. Let's go look at those last ones that I did. I just want to show you in a different format. Let me go back to home and then these are the ones I just did with this uh, other kind of template. And so what I could do here then, this one actually has a little um, picture in it, technology, technology, and then here I could, you know, see all these photos, and then maybe I could, you know, do these different ones differently. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so this goes together, again, it goes together, whoops, undo. It goes together uh, pretty nicely, don't you think? I mean, I still have to tweak, but it's not too bad. So check out the bulk content using that with ChatGPT to create a, a list of something that would be good for your social content. I think this is going to be a real time saver for a lot of people. So good luck with it. Be sure and subscribe.